Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side, and I'm not in Blackpool today. I'm down here in Lytham, yeah, leafy Lytham. And uh, what I thought I'd do in this video is we'll just calm things down a little bit because it's been a little bit hectic lately. We've been out in all weathers, you know, lots of noise, bars, going around all the pubs in Blackpool, that sort of thing. Uh, dodging beer monsters and uh, I thought I'd calm things down in this video and we'll take a look around Lytham. Yeah, so I'm down here in Lytham today. I tell you what, it's pretty busy. Uh, I'm just by the fire station. That's the fire station there, next to the Booths Superstore, just across the road. Sorry about the traffic noise. From the Weather Spoons, the Railway Hotel. I've just been in there actually for a coffee. Yeah, that's a weather field. Nice flowers outside, really nice flowers outside there. Outside the weather spoons. So, yeah, so I thought, like I say, we'll calm things down a little bit. It's a Sunday afternoon. Let's take a look around Lytham, shall we? I'll show you a bit of Lytham, down the road from Blackpool, of course. Around about 20, 20 minutes drive away. Uh, yeah, so let's see what it's like on a Sunday afternoon. Okay, now Lytham was actually built on the success of Blackpool. A lot of people that made a lot of money when Blackpool was booming. You know when Blackpool was building in the 1850s? Well, in the late 1800s, a lot of those people that had the money built this town here and sent hands. Yes, it's rather swanky here in Lytham. A town built on the success of Blackpool. And uh, this is Clifton Street, the main drag in Lytham. And uh, they've got a lot of shops, a lot of uh, cafes as well. Look, look at this. Very swanky, that one there's called Novello. I might have to come in one of these. But let me know if you want me to come in one of these. There's something a bit different, you know to one of these places in London now. Spend a bit more money, what do you think? Is it worth it? Yeah, might be. Guilty kitchen. That's a very fancy looking uh, clothes shop that isn't it? Yeah, look. yeah, so it's very leafy as well. Look at all these trees here. You've got trees in Lydon, see? That's one thing that Blackpool lacks. And they certainly have trees here in Lytham. Look at this one here, look at this place. Bonds. Bonds and blue. And now we've got this uh, swanky coffee house here. It's called Shells. Oh, there's an artisan cafe. Look at that. Wow. Hey. What's this building here? Looks a bit like an old library. What do you think, folks? I'm not much of an expert on Lytham, like I am with Blackpool, but uh, let's have a little look, shall we? Ah, it says all up here. Look, can you see that up there? It says there, 1878 Lytham Institute. So there you go. What a nice building. We're just coming up to a junction now. Uh, what what road is this? I don't know. Is it? It's called Bannister Street. That's Taverners of Lytham. It's been going ages. It's uh, a hardware store, but they also sell clothes. By the look of it, it's really really uh, popular, and that's been going for ages. Let's have a quick look down here, shall we? I just want to look at this building here. Look at that building. That's the side of the the institute. Look at the garden. Look at this red robin here. Look, the bush red robin. It's nice, isn't it? Box tree over there, hedge as well. I tell you what, even the alleyways in Lytham are really, really swanky. I think we're coming up now on the old police station. Look at this. That there is the old police station here in Lytham. Look at this. And that there, down there, well, it looks like an alley, but it's actually a street. It's called North Clifton Street. There are houses down there, terraced houses. I wonder how much one of these terraced houses for. You could pick up a house like one of these in Blackpool for as little as 60,000. But I just wonder 
how much one of these would be here I can't see any for sale but the old police station looks like it's had a little bit of abuse they've boarded up the windows around the side there is a bit of antisocial behavior that goes on here in Lytham you know there can be trouble even here in Lytham just across the road look at that church there quite fancy isn't it it's got a very pointy spire hasn't it so let's have a look at this police station shall we they don't build them like they used to do they look at this wow look at that entrance folks it's got the blue doors I don't see any um, sign on it but look at that entrance folks wow that is amazing You know, I remember when this police station was still going. It's ages ago now. I don't know how long it's been empty for, but I think what will probably happen with it, once it's sold off, it'll all be turned into um, very expensive apartments. What do you think? I've just nipped down this little street here. There's some more houses down here. Some businesses as well. I can't help but think that these are alleyways, but they're not, the streets. But we'll just oh i just met some fans as well by the way just up here as i was filming the police station so hi to you if you're watching yeah i got spotted here in Lytham. yeah so i'm just going to come back onto here banish the street and there's a good look at the police station where i just was there look at that wow yeah and that's that building over there the the institute there so let's get back onto clifton street shall we Right, let's cross over here because I want to show you this uh, fish restaurant over here. It's called Wheelands, and this is one of those places, fish and chip restaurants, that's very, very popular. It, people come from all over the place to eat the fish and chips here at Wheelands. Now, I know people that come from Manchester to eat here. Even Gordon Ramsay has been here. Look, I can show you Henrik Stein. Look at that. I told you. It's famous, this place. Wheelands in Lytham. Oh, I tell you what, look at these trees. Look, it's going to be pretty messy here in autumn. In fact, there's a lot of leaves on the ground already. Look at that. Wow. So, this is how Lytham looks on a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to head towards the square. There's a lot of little independent shops as well. There's a the Lytham Dental Clinic. I bet that's not cheap, is it? So look over there. Lots of charity shops as well, of course, but that's pretty much standard for any for any uh, high street. We're on the main bus route, of course, the number eleven from Blackpool. Take you down this road here. How are you doing? You okay, it's called Bath Street. And um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll head on to the. We'll head on to the. Uh, we'll head on to the front, shall we? I want to show you the windmill. We'll have a little look at the windmill before we come back down this way. Uh, there's a shop here called Endless Pursuits, and by the way, that was where I bought my blue jacket. If you've ever seen me wear my blue Jack Wolfskin jacket. I got it from this shop right here but I want to show you something down here this is a quite an interesting looking street actually look at the paving look at this pebbles isn't it amazing and it's like a pattern as well they have patterns in front of the steps look at this here they've got a rose outside that house there look wow could do with a bit of weeding though those weeds need pulling out I tell you what, it's surprising that these uh, bollards here don't have uh, cozies on them like they do in Cleveland. But uh, give them chance. What's that building over there? I think I featured that before. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? That's interesting. It's got some Roman numerals on the top there. I'll let you figure that one out. We'll have a look on the blue plaque. That'll be easier. It says there, 1846 to 68, and it was Mr. Hinksman's 
Chapel, the first Wesleyan chapel in Lytham, later used as a Masonic hall. American Forces Kitchen and Health Clinic converted to legal offices in 1992, so there you go, it's a solicitor's now. Got nice Ely Agnes, that grows very well here, the Ely Agnes. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, look at the wall there, pebbled wall. Yeah. Swanky, isn't it? Look at that terrace of houses over there. There's a good look at them. I was just walking past them before with the uh, with the pebbles as the pavement. So we're just coming onto the front now. There's the Queen's Hotel. I actually went in there for a few seconds during the war time, the, the war, the, the World War Two 1940s weekend. I think there's a concert going on up here. You know, they've closed the green off. It says customer con concert parking only over there. I don't know what concert it is, but it looks like they're getting ready for another concert. We've had the Lytham Festival not too long ago, of course. I'll just give you a look round. We're now on the front. Um, I think it's called, yeah, it's called East Beach. This road is called East Beach. Look at that car there. A BMW. I yeah. So here we are on Lytham Green and just over there, I'll tell you what, this, the view from here is amazing. I can see Winter Hill. There's the, the famous windmill. It's so clear today, folks. I can see for miles around, right across the Ribble over there towards Southport. Yeah, I've just found out that there's a bit of a music event going on here in Lytham. It's taking place at Lytham Hall, yeah. Lytham, we've got a hall here in Lytham, yeah, very swanky hall, yeah. It's about uh, half a mile or so that way, so there's a big music event. And uh, they're using the green here for some of the parking, so there you go. We are not amused here in Lytham, outside the Queen's Hotel. Yeah. I think it's something to do with um, yeah, but no door, that's true. last night of the proms, the music uh, festival. One last look at the windmill there before we head back down this way again. Back onto uh, Clifton Street. Okay, so we'll head back onto uh, Clifton Street again. And I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to have a little look in one of them charity shops. Yeah, I quite fancy it actually. I really like looking through charity shops when I've got time. So let's go and do that then, shall we? Okay, we're back on Clifton Street again. That building over there has the Talbot written on the top of it. Might be a bit of a throwback to an old hotel. What do you think? I don't know. Just over the road, we've got a shop called Forsyth. An independent... Uh, shop there quite a lot of independent shops We've got a charity shop over here the northwest air ambulance that's not open but we will find one that i can go in there's a shop there called the pork shop that looks really good <laughs> leafy lytham they don't call it leafy for nothing there's a bad shop here look at this Well, I'll keep having to walk into the road here because it's there's that many people. It is actually really, really busy today. Tesco Express on the left there. Just over the road, we've got Molloy's fine furniture. Whispers. I need a charity shop. Plackett and Booth booksellers over there. There's a big pub up here called the Ship and Royal. Ah, Bernardo's. Maybe I'll nip in Bernardo's. What do you think? Let's go in Bernardo's quick. Let's have a look in here, shall we? The new stuff. I'm after restaurant stuff. We've got any? Hmm. 
Hmm. I might have to try somewhere else folks, I can't see much retro stuff in here. Uh, maybe a bit. I do like going through charity shops though, I have to say. They can be quite addictive. This is the there. Sorry about the noise of motorbike. It seems to be mo mostly uh, new stuff, so uh, I'll try somewhere else, shall I? Okay, now remember, I'm on my best behaviour down here in Lydham. No talk of beer monsters. There's no beer monsters here in Lydham. They don't do that around here. Everybody behaves themselves. Not quite like in Blackpool. Anyway, I'm just down here by the station, the railway station, or at least it used to be. This building here used to be the station, but it's now the station pub and grill. And it looks like Lytham has just got a platform for a railway station. So let's turn you around and I'll, we'll have a little look, shall we? So there you go. That was the station. It's now this place here. Look, the station pub and grill. And look at that sign up there. Look, see, what did I tell you? Leafy Lytham. That's an old sign, isn't it? Look at this. This is the platform here at Lytham. Now you can only go to Blackpool that way. That way to Blackpool. I'll tell you what, I'm a bit I'm a bit underwhelmed really. I was expecting more hanging baskets. That way to Preston over there. I can hear music from that concert. I've just found out that the music event is the last night of the proms at uh, Lytham Hall and Catherine Jenkins is headlining. There you go, it's pretty big. Here's a quick look inside this ship and water. I've never been in here before. Never been in. A very, very quick look there, folks. I've been in now. I've been in the ship and royal. Some people give me funny looks because they think I'm talking to myself. Well, I am talking to myself, aren't I? I am, yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, yeah. So that was the ship and royal over there. We had a very, very brief look in there. And uh, we'll just have a look at what else they've got here. Dalvies of Lydham. Just over here we've got seniors. Seniors Fish and Chips, another very, very popular fish and chip restaurant chain. That's a chain that, I don't know about wheelings. This is the old post office, look at this here. It's now a Pizza Express and uh, it used to be a bank on the corner as well. A bank, a very grand building. Lots of people sitting outside here, look at this. We're now in the square. This is the square, I'll just show you this over here. Nice flowers. Blackpool Council take note, look at that there. That's how you do a planter. Just over the road we've got Fascination, Perfume. Just over there is Stringers, that's the shop where everybody wants to be seen here in Lydham, Stringers. It's rather fancy. And just down there, down that little road down there is a place called Zest, a really good cafe. It's got wine bar. Got quite a few old banks around here, this one. That's an old bank there, isn't it? Look, paper kisses of living. Of course, a lot of the old banks have been turned into... I've got to show you this here, look. We've got a mock-up of the windmill here made out of flowers, look. Little, little wooden windmill with flowers all over it. Look at that there. It's rather fancy, isn't it? So this is Living Square. And look at this mosaic they've got here, look. Yeah, that's the old bank building there. It's now a fancy restaurant called Deacon. We'll have a little look down here, shall we? I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's have a little look in Lytham Estate Agents, shall we? Let's see how much the properties are going for around here. Here we go, folks. What do you think? Smithy Lane, Lytham. Almost 400,000. I know Smithy Lane as well. There's one there for just over half a million, if you fancy that one. Ah, oh, is that that one that we saw last week on my 1940s one? It is, isn't it? 
amazing that ground floor two bedroom flat seven hundred and thirty five thousand pound what a, amazing that we actually saw that property in here just like that can't believe the price of that a two bedroom ground floor flat for 735 grand wow and as we come out here now we've got another old bank this street is called henry street um 1899 it's got on there i'll just give you a look around here Lytham Heritage Centre it has there and there's a, um, a restaurant called is it Palm? I think that used to be called something else. That's looking back towards the the front again down there and the assembly rooms and uh, this place here is called Spago. Very very popular yeah anyway I just want to quickly show you something down here now the first indian restaurant i ever went to was down here and i came here with my friend chris who featured with me on my clan didno video he took me to this place here moshinas and this was the first indian i ever had and ever since then i've uh, been to quite a few indian restaurants i quite like it i was a bit scared of it before then you know but yeah there you go i uh I brought my cherry that machine is here in Lytham and I just want to show you this this pub here this is the taps I can hear music coming from Marvin's but Marvin's bar look at that there look we've got a Marvin's in Lytham I didn't know that we've got one of them in Blackpool on Clifton Street but I just quickly want to show you this place sorry about the uh, Lytham house on Henry Street looks rather it's rather posh quick look down this alley here another it's not really an alley is it it's a green street it's called and it says no through route for pedestrians are not allowed to go down there not allowed if you're a pedestrian this pub here is called the taps and this is one of the well it's one of the most popular pubs here in Lytham the most famous people of Lytham coming here I've met Bill Beaumont in here Colin Henry the, the you know the Scottish football captain in the tap you meet them all here the great and the good at the taps here in Lytham so there you go that was a little look at Lytham here in Lancashire just down the road from Blackpool something a little bit different a little bit calmer for you in this video uh, what do you think let me know in the comments and also if you want me to go in one of these swanky uh, uh, cafe so long here let me know and also maybe uh, a video in a charity shop or something like that uh, that would be quite fun wouldn't it anyway if you like this video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one